the digestive system parts and functions of the digestive system label the diagram of the digestive system use the words in the box to help you the digestive system consists of the mouth esophagus the stomach small intestine large intestine and anus match each of the labeled parts in question 1 with its functions from a to f listed in the table write the name of each of the part next to its function the functions in the table are not in the same order as they happen in the body so you need to write the letters of the functions in the correct order each of the part of the digestive system is written next to its function the esophagus pushes food into the stomach stomach mixes food with the digestive juices large intestine absorbs water and some minerals into the blood mouth chews food and starts digestion anus removes undigested food from the body small intestine breaks food down into very tiny particles the functions in the table are not in the same order as they happen in the body so the correct order will be d a b f c and e Sophia's group made a model of the human digestive system in the picture. This food and a part of the digestive system in the model contains a funnel which acts like the mouth. There's a finger of rubber glove which acts like the esophagus. A balloon is attached which is the stomach. A plastic pipe is attached which is the small intestine. and then there are panty hose which are tights that's the large intestine and the opening end is the anus each of the parts of digestive system represented in the model has been labeled how would you change the model to show the digestive system of a squirrel You can make the small intestine and large intestine longer. Class five investigated the digestion in mouth. They mixed some cooked rice with iodine solution in two beakers. They added twenty mL of saliva to the mixture in one of the beakers. Then they added twenty mL of water to the mixture in the second beaker. They observed the two beakers over a period of two hours. Suggest a question that class five was investigating. The question could be: Does saliva break down starch in the mouth? Draw a picture of the two beakers at the start of the investigation. Label your picture. The first beaker has water. rice and iodine solution the second beaker has saliva rice and iodine solution explain your drawings the starch in the rice changed the color of the iodine solution to blue black in both beakers Why did the learners add saliva to one beaker and water to the other beaker? It was to test whether saliva breaks down starch in the rice. Why did the learners observe the beakers over a period of 2 hours? To allow time for the saliva to act on the starch in the rice and break it down. Now again draw a picture of two beakers after 2 hours. Label your picture. The first picture has a beaker with water in it 
and rice which is colored blue black in the second beaker there is saliva along with rice which is colored yellow brown the saliva in one beaker digested or broke down the starch in the rice this made the iodine solution change color back to yellow brown because of the digestion of starch there was no digestion or breakdown of starch in the other beaker that had water so the iodine stayed blue black 